And welcome to another vlog. Today you join me on the banks of, um, of Widnes, a place called West Bank and in the distance we've got the Widnes Runcorn Bridge uh, just over there. Uh, now they're currently doing some work on this, it's the second of two bridges. The newer bridge was opened about two years ago and this is just going through a massive re refurbishment before it reopens again. I believe either at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Um, so yeah it'll be uh, certainly help with the traffic and then just before it as well is the, the railway bridge which is still open and that's the main um, Liverpool to, uh, to London line. So today the theme is really about um, art and trying to make something out of nothing. Now when I left the house this morning it was a really grey overcast day, absolutely no colour in the sky whatsoever. I've got here now and the, uh, the sun started to burn through the clouds so it could be a little bit of a, a different day than, uh, than what was originally planned. But anyway what we're going to do is really focus on the art of photography, have a look to see what we can do out of a pretty mundane sort of boring location, boring type of day and a, a mundane sort of day really. Uh, so yeah come and join me we'll see what we can get and I'll see if this uh, long exposure has uh, turned out okay. So this is the first time I've actually been out since the, uh, the start of the lockdown, that apart from work and uh, and yeah, going grocery shopping. So um, I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all uh, sort of trying to get back to normality as much as we can really at these, uh, these weird times. So um, yeah, the beauty of being down here is um, it's quite an industrial area and that's kind of what I'm looking to uh, to capture from today is the, the old industry, a little bit of history um, whilst also trying to make a bit of an arty shot. Yeah, so uh, it's a little bit busier than I thought it was going to be though. Um, the main area which is Spike Island which I've shot from before is absolutely rammed I've, I've driven in and the car park is absolutely over swarming ice cream vans people walking around yeah clearly the uh, the lockdown isn't as uh, isn't in place anymore um, so yeah I've just come to this quieter area just on the other side of the bridge so I want to focus around here and then sort of move around just have a bit of a walk around later on as the, uh, the day progresses and just sort of see what we can get and certainly capture that uh, this mood and this, this sort of history of the the, uh, the old industrial revolution that was in uh, in Woodness um, see if we can get uh, get anything incorporate any of that into the image as well So what I'm looking to do at the moment is just do a number of long exposures just of the bridge behind us um, and the reason why I'm trying to make it as long as possible is just to try and smooth out the water. There's a bit of a breeze just making a bit of, the, a, bit of a ripple in the water. I want to try and get it as smooth as possible so I can get the reflection of the bridge um, in the water. Hopefully it works, we'll see what we've got. <laughs> is um, a bit of a focus stack so I've got a, a bit of a shrub here it's just started to flower so I focused on the flower and then three other shots um, f further into the focus until we get to the bridge just a bit of a, uh, a focus stacking image um, again it's all about seeing what we can get on a, a bit of a mundane day the sky is starting to um, even though it's fairly bright it's still fairly cloudy but there's just again no drama in the sky and that's probably ideal for what I'm looking for today it's just trying to make the best out of a bad situation really this is not raining 
and it's really warm as well it's so much warmer than I thought it was going to be yeah a little bit uh, muggy a little bit a uh, bit close but uh, yeah it's, it just feels so good to be out it's been such a long time it's been well the best part of three months since my last vlog uh, where I actually went out to a location I am staying local um, but yeah I'm just itching to get back out into the countryside and uh, yeah on the side of a mountain or side of a lake or on the beach to uh, to do another vlog they'll be coming soon and once this uh, full lockdown is um, is sort of away I'm uh, certainly going to uh, <laughs> take that opportunity and get back out there again oh it's going stir crazy a little bit Uh, two reasons a load of uh, people came up with a load of uh, corona beers how, uh, how fitting um, certainly no social distancing there uh, and plus also I'm finished with that location um, so yeah just moving on a little bit now around the uh, back towards um, Spike Island uh, West Bank area see what I can get um, closer to the bridge now, the archways in between the, uh, in the in between the two bridges the uh, the two archways sort of lead straight over to uh, the Runcorn side of the uh, the Mersey. So I'm hoping to get uh, certainly some from there. Yeah, see what we can get. So in between here is the, uh, the, the area I want to shoot now, um, just sort of facing there really. Quite a simple shot, just with the two bridges leading through. See what I've got. Um, I don't think it'll be anything special. The light's not great at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it anyway while I'm here. Why not? What I'm waiting for on this image is when the sun's out, just on the archways, just there, as you can probably see, um, this, there's a bit of a shadow and it sort of mirrors the um, the archway um, with the shadow. So I'm just waiting to try and get that on the image as well. Um, when the sun's really strong, it, it's quite prominent in, in the image as well. So um, yeah, it looks like it uh, it could be okay, this one. I've done doing a long exposure. I've done a couple of uh, quick exposures, but I'm also doing a, around about a minute, minute and a half exposure along here as well, to try and smooth out the water and see what we get. Thinking about it, this could be actually be quite a good uh, place to come for sunset um, because the sun sets over on the uh, the far side there, so you should get the um, the sunlight bursting through. Certainly a, a nice orange look. Uh, maybe want to come back to um, this location and uh, and try and get that. It's not too far away from where I live, so uh, yeah, it's only a 20 minute drive or so. So another shot I'm doing is just um, behind you now, which is the archway of the, uh, the bridge, just with the uh, the way the, the Mersey is behind the, the water. Um, unfortunately, the water level's dropped now. Um, I was hoping to get a, a little bit of a reflection, but um, it's just leaving this, uh, this sort of silt bed. Um, but yeah, probably still make a, quite an interesting image. We've got some um, sun rays coming through. Between, uh, be, through put my teeth back in between the clouds, so a bit of light streaks coming through. So I might be able to, um, yeah, just in, enhance that a little bit on uh, on Lightroom, but uh, yeah, this is the shot. The weather's gone really murky again. Um, I'm not sure what the sunset's going to be, if there's going to be any sort of sunset. Well, there will be a sunset, it will obviously happen just behind the clouds, um, but I don't think photography-wise it's going to be massively impressive. Um, I am going to wait though and, and sort of find out, so uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get later on.
So as you can probably tell in the distance, um, there's a bit of a reflection happening uh, within the water. So I'm doing a, uh, a two minute exposure currently, um, just to try and smooth out the water, to try and get the uh, almost a perfect circle, if you like, from the, uh, for the bridge and the reflection in the water. Well, it's been fantastic coming out and doing another vlog. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it today. Um, yeah, it, it, times are starting to change, hopefully. And hopefully it won't be long until we can all get out and, uh, and go out into the countryside and certainly into, uh, into the places we, we know and love and, and do some more vlogs. Um, so I think for now, from, uh, from West Bank in Widnes and the northwest of England, it's probably time to say goodbye. Um, hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and leave a comment and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. So yeah, through from here, um, thoroughly enjoyable doing this, uh, this vlog again, but for now, take care. Cheers now.